Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, folks, meteorites light up the Russian sky again last night. Unbelievable. A huge fireball was spotted in the skies over the Russian city of Chita, which is near the border of China. Now, this unidentified flying object, most probably a meteorite, made three extra bright flashes before burning out, according to eyewitness accounts. Witnesses described the incident as an unusually bright flash that illuminated the skies just after midnight early this morning on November 12th. The falling object left long tail of light behind it. It resembled a fall of some kind of space object. Now, you guys do know there is a space object that's going to crash into the ocean tomorrow on Friday the 13th, about 40 miles off the coast of Sri Lanka. But that's not what this is. This is totally different. Now, the question you have to ask, is this a meteorite or is this some new technology that Russia and or China or both of them together are testing. Remember, the United States just tested two, what they, they tell us they were Trident two missiles fired from a Navy submarine. I'm not so sure they were. The, the way they looked in the air and the way uh, uh, some experts, military personnel said who have seen Trident missile says it does not, it did not act or resemble a Trident missile. It could have been the United States were trying some new rocket or missile technology. And this might be what this is. I don't know. I have a feeling it is meteorites. I really do. And we're going through this galactical plane and we're actually going through a meteor shower anyway. So as the earth continues to go into this galactical plane, there are going to be more and more and more fireballs from the sky penetrating through our atmosphere and bringing us into the realization that time is not going to last forever. And as these things increase, it's going to get to a point where they're no longer can be ignored. Wow. Are you serious? Is it a meteor? Is it Russia testing a new weapon? Is it China testing a new weapon? Is it both of them working together with new technologies? Or is, or are we getting ready to see the falling of the brimstone? Is this the precursors to the end? The wrath of God. Now, the Lord hasn't given us the spirit of fear if you're a Christian. This should just be, the Bible says there will be great signs and fearful sights in the heavens. It told us that. He said when you begin, that men's hearts would fail them for fear of things coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall you see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to come to pass, he says, then look up, lift up your heads for your redemption is drawing nigh. But for some folks, your damnation is is drawing nigh because if you don't leave if you don't go when the lord comes to get the bride you'll be left behind to face the wrath of god don't be left behind give your life to jesus christ we're running out of time